Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. A long time no see. So for today's video, I wanted to do a little bit of a end of the summer try on haul, but I wanted to add a little twist to it. I do like 50,000 try on hauls on my channel, so I wanted to spice it up a little bit. And I asked you guys on Instagram to give me your assumptions about me. So the way this is going to work is right after every clothing piece, I'm going to read an assumption that you guys have about me and I'm going to answer them for you. So let's jump straight into the video as always everything will be linked down below please be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell so you guys can get notified whenever i upload and let's jump straight into the video okay so the first thing i got i'm actually wearing right now so i got this super cute early 2000s inspired corset this is giving me major early 2000 vibes you guys know that i used to wear like the corsets like all the time with like the little low-rise jeans or low-rise skirts so this definitely reminds me of the early 2000s it has like the little clasp right here and then on the pattern it has like it kind of reminds me of a flower to be honest so i was like super ecstatic when i got this because i was like those days i want to channel my early 2000s i can wear this so the first assumption somebody said is you're self-centered <laughs> Um, I think I'm the furthest from self-centered actually. I wish I was a little bit self-centered. It would probably make my life a lot easier. But unfortunately, um, I'm not. So that assumption was definitely super far off. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I could come across as self-centered, but definitely far from it. So the next thing that I got are these super cute shorts. Guys, this material is literally a one. It is so soft and stretchy and i've never actually had like any shorts like with these patterns and i really like it i feel like it's super cute especially for like the end of the summer early fall i feel like it's just super cute it's super comfortable and it flatters the body so well it just fits so good the length is perfect i'm 5'2 so it reaches right below my butt cheeks and i just i really love it i think it's the cutest thing ever and it's so easy to pair with other things okay so next assumption you're kind of an introverted person and yet you like to be surrounded by people you love that is actually completely accurate like I don't know what happened i used to be outgoing and i used to be able to walk up to strangers and just like compliment their outfit or talk to them and i don't know i guess i was talked about just like so much during high school like for no reason i just became more introverted but yeah i'm definitely introverted to other people but around people i love i'm like super crazy and weird um, so yeah, that was completely completely spot on. So I also got another pair of shorts These ones are a little longer. I got it because I'm like trying to experiment with my style a bit So this is a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I thought it was super cute So it's just like these little Bermuda shorts. They're cut off right here on the edges and again, it's like the super stretchy material guys like I hate jeans and I don't really like shorts, especially if it's like that rough denim. So whenever it's like jeggings or like stretchy denim, that's what I go for. So it's just this beautiful little white color. I think it's perfect for the summertime, beach trip, something like that. Next assumption, you're a racist. So this assumption is completely crazy and I have no idea why somebody would assume that but no i am not a racist next thing i got is actually one of my favorite things i've ever gotten it's just so different and again it gives me major early 2000 vibes take a shot every time i say major early 2000 vibes so this right here i don't know what pattern this is is this like a zebra pattern i don't know all i know is an animal print and then it has these gold chains right here on the sides and that's like your sleeve and then on the back it like dips so it's like a low back and then you also have the sides which has ruching on it and it's like it's a lot but it all goes together so nicely and then the the neckline is like a cow neck so this is so beautiful for like a girl's night out in the city. I can picture this with like some really cute low rise jeans, some kitten heels, and a little mini bag. I think this will be so adorable. The next assumption is 
you have expensive taste. I do. I have very expensive taste for somebody who can't afford to have expensive taste. <laughs> so yeah, that is completely accurate. It's funny because me and my mom would be like shopping and our eyes will gravitate towards something and the minute we look at the price, it's like super expensive. And it's just like, why? Why? <laughs> like there could be like the same shirt and we don't know the prices, we don't know the brand, but we just gravitate towards the expensive one. So I do have expensive taste, but I don't give in to my expensive taste. So like, I'm not the type to like splurge a lot, like let's say on a luxury bag or something. I just, I can't, I would cry. I, I would have buyer's remorse. I'm like so bad at that. So I would not be able to like splurge on clothing. For other people, like other people's gifts, I can splurge, no problem. Myself, I can't. It's a problem. It's, it's really bad. So the next thing I got is incredible, but I do have to get it tailored at my waist because it's a little bit big. And it's just this super long midi dress. And then of course it has the ruching on the sides as well as on the back. And you guys know that makes your butt look incredible. Um, it's strapless. It's super, super stretchy. And I really love this. I just need to get it tailored to fit my body type. Um, I need to get it smaller at the waist and then I need to cut off a few inches at the bottom just because I'm so short and I don't really wear like super high heels so this would be perfect for like a tropical vacation if we were able to go on vacation yeah. but I could picture this like on a beach I just this chef's kiss it's amazing so the next assumption is your job is YouTube and your business this is actually kind of accurate I have another job that I guess you you could consider like a full-time job but yeah like my main like passions is definitely YouTube and my business that's like what I would love to work out for like my full-time job forever but I guess we'll just have to see how it goes so the next thing I got is this stunning dress I am loving the color lavender and lilac and purple um this dress is so adorable so I love these little mini dresses because they're perfect to throw on with sneakers um, and sometimes I just don't want to wear my heel. It has some ruching on the front and the material guys is so soft like do you guys see the stretch? Like it's so 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 soft. I don't even know how to describe it. All I can say is when you touch it, it's so soft like it's just it feels like butter or velvet on the skin so next assumption is wait you're quiet but you will throw hands at a moment's notice but we'll cry about it later <laughs> um i wish i could throw hands but i cannot i i'm actually i've never been in like a physical fight ever in my life which i'm grateful for because i stub my toe and i'm crying for five hours so if i were to ever get in a physical fight i think i would literally pass out from the pain so no i i don't i don't get into like i don't throw hands but like i do get into fights and i do cry about it hours later so the next thing that i got guys this dress is everything it reminds me of a mermaid don't ask me why what it does this dress it's like a little mini dress it's all ruched it looks tiny but it stretches a lot so i love the cups the cups have ruching on it it's hard to see on camera but in person you just see like little glitter specks but it's like the most subtle glitter ever and it like doesn't rub off or anything on you and i think this is just perfect this reminds me of like 90s like prom dance for some reason don't know why but it's just so pretty and i think it's perfect for like a summer date night the next assumption is you look like you eat platano from the tree drink brugal while dancing to music typical okay bro what um no listen I'm half Dominican, half Afro Dominican. I love platanos, but I do not drink. And I don't know what music typico is. I've, I've heard of it. Don't know what it is. Probably don't do it. So, no. So, the next thing I got is actually something casual. I really got this, to be honest, to like throw on in case I want to just go to the store right away or like just to be comfy in my house. So, it's just these little drawstring dolphin shorts. 
and they're really stretchy they're really soft on the inside it's like soft it's not really rough it has this little drawstring so you can tighten it in case you want it to be a little more snug or you can just leave it loose to be honest i would leave it just like this if i'm just lounging around but i think it's important to have like your basic little easy to throw on casual lazy outfit so the next assumption is people think you're stuck up but you're actually the nicest person this is honestly super 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 accurate um this was the story of my life in college in high school like i don't know what it was but people just like thought i was super stuck up and that was like the furthest from the truth like I'm honestly the type of person that you can walk up to me and make a conversation and I'll make the conversation back. Listen, I'll be I'll be a little nervous because I'm a little introverted, but I wouldn't like be mean or anything. Like I always got like that. Everybody always got that impression from me. I never understood it. I don't know if it's because I always used to wear heels to school and like the most like outlandish outfits like i used to wear like dresses with heels to college i don't know if that has something to do with it but yeah that that's like the story of my life to be honest that's that's actually why i i became a little more um like recluse because i just felt like everybody was just judging me and like i was like let me stop talking before everybody thinks i'm like the weirdest person ever so next up i got another dress it wouldn't be a nikki haul without fifty thousand dresses i mean how many dresses do I need? I don't know, but um, I really like this one. I, I really, I don't have anything like it. So it's a one shoulder dress, but I love the strap because it's like a little spaghetti strap and it's adjustable. And then again, it has the ruching and it has the little mesh on it and it just flatters the body so nicely. And again, this gives me vintage vibes. You guys know I love like anything like 80s, 90s to early 2000s like that's my vibe right there so if I find stuff that reminds me of any of those time periods I like snatch it so this dress gave me like 90s early 2000s vibes so the next assumption is you are easily demotivated I don't know it's, it's hard to answer that question because there are times where I am super super motivated like crazy like I wake up that's the first thing I do is start like planning videos and start planning content and then go to sleep at like 5 in the morning planning business stuff. But then I have my moments where like I start doubting myself and that's when I'm like unmotivated. That's when, that's when I'm like I don't want to do anything. What's the point? Nobody's going to watch my videos or nobody's going to buy this. Like what's the point? And then I have like my low moment where I'm just like unmotivated for like a week or two and I'm just like ugh. And then again, motivated, like super quick. So I guess you could say, yeah, I'm easily unmotivated, but also easily motivated. So the next thing that I got is this cute, guys, I've been seeing this everywhere. And I actually bought a bandana to wear, but I guess this works better. So I'll tell you why. So I got this little handkerchief bandana type of thing. I love the paisley pattern on it. And then you just tie it like this. But what I love about this is that there's actually like a silicone grip right here at the top. So it ensures that it's like not going to fall off because with the bandana, you don't know when it's gonna fall off like it's like holding on for dear life so i really appreciate these silicone things at the top so everything can stay in place and the girls won't show next assumption is you stopped caring about your weight gain journey um i don't know here's my thing i had the stomach flu in december and i lost 10 pounds so after losing those 10 pounds, because I used to be 110, now I'm about like 100 to 103. So after losing all that weight, I was like, what? Like, after all of that work, now I have to redo it all over again? So it's not really that I stopped caring. It's just for a moment. I was like, there's more important things in my life to worry about right now. Um, like, you know, my business and stuff like that. Um, but now I definitely like want to gain weight like i i need to because i was so happy with um 
my weight gain and to lose all of it is just like a little discouraging but it's not that I stopped caring about it it's just I stopped really broadcasting it a lot this thing I got gave me major 70s vibes um so it's just this printed little top it's sheer it looks so weird holding it up but i promise it's super cute so um you just tie it right here in the front and it has like just this like really pretty pattern on it like i really really like it and then the sleeves have a little bit of ruffling on the side so i think it's super cute especially for the fall time i think this would look really cute with a pair of jeans and maybe some booties um a red lip i think this would be like super super cute next assumption is you hold on to things you should have let go a long time ago um not really for me it's more of like I don't know like being stuck in the past sometimes like It's not really that I like hold on to things and don't let go. It's just I think of the happy memories that I had associated with certain things and It's not really that like I fixated fix, fixated on it um, But I have my moments of nostalgia I feel like but I, I never like hold on to things that, like I never let go of it like resentment or anything no definitely not next thing i got oh guys this is the daintiest shirt ever it reminds me of a fairy it's just this white top it has little ruffle sleeves right here and then it ties right here it's, it's like so hard to show you guys but you'll see it on the try on haul it's just so nice and for some reason i really love this feeling of the string it's like a like a suede material it feels so soft so the next assumption is you're a great listener yeah definitely i feel like i can really say i'm a good listener um because i like to be listened to so i never like to make people feel like i don't care or like that their thoughts are invalid so i always make sh like make sure to to listen and actually listen like not just pretend to listen so those were all of the assumptions so now i'm gonna do a little speed round of the rest of the outfits um i'll just show you guys super quickly so this tie-dye dress now this dress is definitely too big for me um i would have to take it in a lot at the waist but i really like tie-dye next thing i got is this cute little crop cami i love 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 these cropped camis i think they are so so flattering the material feels so nice it actually pushes your boobs together and for somebody who doesn't really have boobs this is super helpful and i just love this because you can pair it with a dress i mean you cannot pair it with a dress <laughs> you can pair this with jeans with shorts with a skirt literally it goes with everything and then this is just like a super um casual thing um i got these little biker shorts and to be honest i got these to just throw on like let's say i'm gonna throw on a, a little long shirt i could just throw this on especially in the fall time now that it's coming like if i want to go on a walk or something i could throw this on with a little oversized shirt my sneakers and I'm good to go and then i got three bikini no four bikinis um so i got this one right here um, i'm washing it right now so i don't have it on hand but i love it so much it's just this beautiful tie-dye it looks like cotton candy sky um if you guys follow me on instagram at the nikki rodri you would have seen it it's like it's so nice and the tie-on lines it leaves is perfect it barely leaves you a timeline i don't know if you guys can tell because it's pretty faded um but it leaves you like the tiniest tan line ever which i appreciate because the last time i tanned i got like some thick ass tan lines and then i got these other three bikinis so again i've been loving the tie-dye so i got this one in like a brown tie-dye what i love is that it has cups inside so like you don't see like no nipple action or anything and i just i love how tiny it is i am a tiny bikini type of person like i don't like um like the huge bottoms or anything like i need these little cute tiny bikinis and then the next one i got is so beautiful like it's so retro reminds me of the 80s it's this beautiful velvet blue color and it's so soft you guys again it has cups inside but what i love is like the cutout of it 
like this is definitely 80s bikini vibes it's just like so unique and I really love it I think I love it more for pictures than for tanning just because I feel like it would leave like a sh like straight line right there um and then these are the bottoms guys I love these high cut bottoms okay hold on let me show you okay <laughs> okay so they're like this so they're super high cut, but you can wear them like this, like they used to do in the 80s. Like it's just so beautiful. And I love that the bikinis come in like this cute little um, pouch thing. So you can like easily store them. Last bikini that I got is actually like one of my favorites, but the bottoms personally on me, I think it's too much fabric for my small frame. Um, but I love it so much. Like. This is the top. It's this beautiful red color, and I love red. So see, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is a lot of fabric. I feel like this would be perfect for somebody that's tall. For me, I think I would have to cut it right here and then um, sew it. But I really, really like this. It gives me Baywatch vibe. And then the last two things that I got. I got this shirt um, more for the colder weather. So it's just like this sweater ribbed material and I love that it has the zip up. So it has two zippers, one at the top and then one at the bottom. Next thing I got is another lavender dress. I love lavender. Um, so this one is a little bit similar to the other one, but not really. <laughs> so this one is ribbed. It's super stretchy, super, super stretchy. So I would recommend sizing down just because it's so stretchy. Um, what I really liked about it was the front of it. So you guys see like that pattern right there I think it's like the cutest thing ever. So that was all that I had for you guys for today's video I hope you guys liked the little You know mix up of doing some assumptions with the haul just to make it a little more exciting um, Stay tuned for more content coming very 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 soon. Let me know what you guys want to see as well be sure to follow me on all my social media, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you guys can be notified. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one.